Hey everyone, last weekend I went to Phoenix, Arizona for the opening weekend of spring training, that's for baseball, with my family. And while I was there, I did a quick meetup at a mall near the hotel where we were staying. Many of you mentioned in one of my earlier videos, why didn't I meet up at a better mall? Because that one had a shuttle from my hotel to the mall. And that was most convenient, so that's why. It was not the best for shopping, but it worked. Anyway, I met some amazing women, all of them just wonderful. I, I know it sounds cheesy, but it was absolutely one of the top moments of my whole life, really. Um, it really just made everything real, and uh, everyone was wonderful and lovely and gorgeous and funny, and I will insert a few pictures at the end of this video that we took. I also posted them on my Facebook page for those of you who follow me on Facebook, they should look familiar. But anyway, a bunch of us met outside the Mac store at the Biltmore Fashion Square, and um, I went a little crazy. So I want to show you what I picked up, and just some administrative things. I'm sucking on a mint because I still have this crazy cough that will not go away, and I am going to go see the doctor next week if it's not gone by then, so I have an appointment, so don't worry. Anyway, so the easy thing to show you first is I picked up Harmony Blush. And I want to preface that I picked everything by watching everybody else's videos and taking notes. Like, I love those, my top 10 MAC eyeshadows, my top 10 MAC this, my favorite MAC that. Love watching those. So I've been keeping kind of like a running uh, list um, by my desk of stuff I want. And so this was high up there, and this is Harmony. And it doesn't look like much. It's a matte blush. Uh, it says matte powder blush. And I primarily use this for contouring, but also just as a contour with no blush sometimes, too. I've been using this every day. Blushes never swatch nicely. Have you notice that? It's kind of browny. I mean, it's just, it's a blush. It's not exciting to swatch like, uh, like eyeshadow. That's really packed on dark, but blend it out. It's still packed on. It just makes me look healthy. It almost is a combination bronzer blush, and I love it. And it's great because I can wear it as just a, a contour, or I can wear it kind of blended up under my cheeks with a little blush, uh, like with shimmer on top. It's very versatile color, and I think everyone should have this or a color like it. Um, if you're my color, or maybe a tad darker. So, really pretty. And then onto the individual shadows. Let me first add that the reason I bought all this MAC stuff, I still love my drugstore makeup. And honestly, um, I, I still primarily use drugstore makeup. But the reason why I've, hi Buzz, the reason why I've lately become attracted to MAC is there are specific looks that I'm trying to do and a specific color I want to use. And I can't find it in a drugstore or I find it but it's in a whole palette. And I just want that color. And the one thing I will say that MAC has going for it is if you want a specific shade, they have it. And I got most of them. I have had, I've purchased most of them in the Pro Palette variety, so they're, they don't have the extra plastic casing. And so they're $11.50, which really compared to the other stuff, like an Estee Lauder single shadow is $18, $20, somewhere in that range. And then, you know, Chanel and all that go up, 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 up. So MAC is still the least expensive of the non-drugstore variety, I would say. So um, that's how I'm justifying it, and I'm going to stick with that. So here's every... I did buy one of these. I feel like a real makeup person now. And Mimi is here too. You don't wear makeup, sweetheart. No. Shoo. Um, I feel like a professional beauty blogger now. I have a MAC palette. Woohoo! So I bought this. And um, I filled it. Now, these are all the MAC shadows that I own, period. So I guess I own 14 of them. Um, and uh, I bought six while I was in Phoenix. I will show you all of them. The only complaint I have to say is these are harder to get out than I had anticipated. But as you can see, I tend towards the neutrals, with the exception of that one. And I do want to, I, I, I kind of, I'm addicted now. I think I want to keep buying more. It's just, I get it. It's like um, Lay's potato chips. You can't just have one. Okay, so here we go. Um, like I said, these are kind of a bear 
to get out. This one is one that I picked up, and um, this was the Pro Palette. So when you buy a Pro Palette, for those of you, I'm just going to pretend like you don't know. If you do know, just close your ears or fast forward. They come with a magnet already on the back and the label um, stuck on there for you. So this one is grain, and I've used this on my lid and to blend out the crease. Um, I don't know. I am not obviously a tech very technical um, makeup artist, or I'm not a makeup artist, so I don't know. But that's what that looks like. And honestly, for the sake of time, I'm not going to swatch all of them. Eight million other people on YouTube have already done that for us, and much better than I could ever do. So I picked up grain, and then this is one I'm wearing today on my lid. It, this one is all that glitters, and that's what it looks like on the lid. I love this color. I've been wearing it almost every day. Hi, hey, Rook. Oh, it's Rookie. He never comes to say hi. And here comes Bosley. Um, and then <laughs> this is soft brown. And I thought this was very similar to my NYX brown. It's not. It's a little bit... Rookie, you stink. What would you get into? It's a little bit mm, lighter and warmer. It has almost like a reddish... I'm not going to swatch it. Reddish undertone. And I got Corduroy, which is another matte, but more of a warm brown. Do you see a theme? I see a theme. And then I also picked up Twinks. And this one's pretty. They're all pretty. It has a little shimmer to it. I'm partial to satin or... I wish it would say on here what it is, luster or what, but now I'm mixing that up with lipstick. And I also picked up, if I can get the darn thing out of here, I'm telling you, this is such a pain, Patina. They're all in the neutral category, they're all beigey brownie, they all have some shimmer or they're just matte, there's no frost. So that's these, the first six right here. These two rows, that's what I picked up. Everything else I already owned. The very first MAC shadow I ever bought was Brulee. Now I have never um, repurchased that because a dead on dupe is the Wet n Wild Brulee and I just don't see that. The only reason I would buy Brulee is just so I could stick it in here and when I travel then I don't have to take the Wet n Wild one with me, but that's kind of a stupid reason, so I probably will never. But the other one I bought, and this is still it, is Contrast, which a lot of people have seen and if you watched Tanya, Bur Tanya Burr, Pixie 2 Woo, her latest um, Glamour's Eyes tutorial using contrast. And it's a really gorgeous, deep navy blue. And now I'm stuck with it on my finger. This one I did depot. There are a and I bought the magnet and stuck the thing back on there. There are a million videos on how to depot. And I have to say, it was very, very, very easy. And then the other ones I own are shroom because Michelle 1218 told me to get it and um, naked lunch these all kind of look the same in the camera when they're seen individually and then of course no collection would be complete without satin taupe I think away from the camera you get a better view of what they really look like and then one that I wear constantly is sable Love this one. And Amber Lights. And then finally, Woodwinked, which is another absolutely gorgeous one. And, wait, that wasn't finally. Did I show you? Rice paper. There you go. I think I know I need to buy, I want to buy another one. I want to put contrast in a different palette and I want to get <clears throat> uh, wedge, cork, and nylon. So, and then the other thing I bought from MAC was cream cup lipstick which I wore in my last video and it's just a very neutral peachy pink and when I say peachy pink it just runs peach or pink kind of depending on what you're wearing so I bought it because it comes out more pink peach on me and, um, and I, I like that. So I have uh, started officially the Addiction to MAC 
does that mean I'm going to stop getting drugstore products? No. Um, I have recently bought a bunch of other drugstore items that will be in the next video. Um, like I said, this definitely has a purpose uh, for specific colors that I want. And I'm just getting to the point, I think I talked about in one of my January videos, where I want specific things for my makeup collection. I'm not going to just buy to buy. So um, that's why I'm not getting everything I can see in the drugstore like I used to because... I, I come to the realization I'm not going to be the, I don't wear colors, I don't wear purples, I don't wear blue mostly, I don't, I like my neutral shades, so that's the collection I'm going with, and um, anyway, if you feel like there are some MAC shades that you have that you think I really should consider adding to the collection, um, please feel free to list below. Um, I love getting your advice, I, I depend on it actually, and you guys have great taste. So anyway, thank you for sharing with me my first MAC palette. It's kind of exciting. And I have to say, I, since I depotted so many shadows, I have six things to bring to back to MAC. So we'll see if they'll take the cases or not. I've heard some say yes, some say no. We shall see. I will keep you posted on that. And um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.